At Limogram, we've done a lot of work with uh, near-infrared uh, spectroscopy, NIRS, to characterise the quality of, of our grass varieties and to formulate our grass mixtures. We also use it on other forage crops such as maize. We use the LG Lab, which is a port device which we can take out onto farms to analyse samples. So in order to, um, to ascertain the quality of the silage or the quality of the forage, we will have to um, come into the field and, and take uh, samples at random places around the crop in order to, uh, to get a good uh, representative sample of, of what, uh, what the actual crop is like. So John here is taking a, a sample from this area here. He's going to bag that up. He's then going to write on there which field it's from and then we know exactly where the, the sample has been taken from. Samples could be taken from uh, both a silage crop or from a, from a grazing sward in order to, to monitor the, the quality of, of the grass through the growing season. We do that routinely on our trials plots anyway so we can monitor the, uh, the changes in, in protein and sugars and digestibility uh, through the season so we know what the, how the varieties are performing. This is the, uh, the NIR machine, the LG Lab, which we're here at the uh, Grass and Muck Show. What we can analyse on this machine is basically dry matter of the forage, the protein, the sugar content, and the digestible NDF, and the overall ME content. So we get a good idea of the nutritional characteristics of that grass. John is now cutting up the grass um, into small pieces ready to go into the, into the analyzer. The whole process is very quick. It takes about eight seconds to, uh, to scan the sample, uh, infrared light source, and collect the information. Having scanned the sample, the information will now appears on the uh, tablet. Alongside the, uh, the tablet data, we can also print off uh, the information to, uh, to label up the sample. So today it shows like today we, we use the NIR to uh, talk to, to growers about their grass crops, get them to talk a little bit about the nutrition of the crop and what it's actually providing for their animals. Obviously from a research point of view, we're using it to highlight what our different grass varieties can, can give from a nutritional point of view to formulate the mixtures based on their nutritional characteristics.